We're working developing news this new time. First, the latest after hundreds of people were gathered for a protest outside of the Wyatt detention facility in Central Falls last night. This is the video prompting a big reaction today. You can see this truck driving into the crowd and new at noon. The attorney general's office has released a statement saying in part, quote, peaceful protest is a fundamental right of all Americans. It is unfortunate last night's situation unfolded as it did. We're urging all to exercise restraint as our investigation proceeds. And Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is working the story. She joins us live from the detention facility with an update. Kate? Well, we want to give you a daytime look at where that scene unfolded last night. We are on the sidewalk where protesters were lined up and right behind us is the employee parking lot where you saw the truck in the video try to go through the gate here. Now, this has sparked responses that we're getting today from everyone from state leaders to congressional leaders as the AG's office says they're working with state police now on investigating that incident. For hours, it remained peaceful. Hundreds of protesters returned to the Wyatt detention facility Wednesday night to protest an ongoing practice. The privately operated prison has an agreement with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, to be paid to house about 139 federal immigration detainees as they await trial. Protesters marched down the street, chanting and holding hands, demanding this practice end. But then, just before 10 Wednesday night, the mood changed. You can see in this viewer video, a truck drove toward a group of protesters, creating a huge and chain across the entrance to an employee parking lot. Then pepper spray reportedly filled the air. Thursday morning, the state attorney general's office announced it's working with state police to investigate this incident. Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea also released a statement saying in part, quote, this incident is also a painful reminder on the dangers of privatizing our prisons. When companies profit from putting people behind bars, you create an economy that does not value immigration or criminal justice reform. You also get situations like the ones last night at Wyatt where the safety and constitutional rights of people are put at serious risk. Congressman David Cicilline, who represents Central Falls, tweeted in part, quote, why it needs to fully cooperate with the state police and the attorney general during their investigation. Governor Gina Raimondo also reacted to the video via Twitter, saying in part, quote, I share the outrage Rhode Islanders are feeling about the incident depicted in the video at the Wyatt Detention Center. Our state and our nation were built on the idea that everyone has a right to express their opinion publicly and peacefully. We just heard from Central Falls Police not long before the news that they are working with the state on this investigation now, and they're asking anyone who may have witnessed this last night to come forward and give a statement. Live in Central Falls, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.